Today I'm talking to you about jaw pain, jaw tension, clenching, grinding, and TMJ and how to relieve some of those symptoms. Welcome back and if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Ashley Osier and I'm the posture specialist. If you want to improve your posture, decrease pain, and enhance your overall wellness, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss anything. I wanna get into this as quickly as possible. A lot of people, they're clenching at night, they're grinding at night when they're sleeping. Sometimes you might find that you're doing it when you are smiling so much throughout the day. You're just smiling at everybody, hi. High and you're smiling but you're clenching at the same time if you are one of those people you want to bring an awareness to what you're doing because it's a habitual pattern that you're creating and it's causing problems not only can it cause pain in the jaw it can cause misalignment in your jaw it can cause wear and tear in your teeth okay in your gums so that's a long-term care there that we're talking about it can also impact whether or not you have headaches it really impacts your sleep sometimes when we clench and we grind it can impact our vision so this is really important a lot of kids actually have this so we want to make sure that we are bringing an awareness not just to ourselves as adults but we want to also bring this awareness to our kids so when you check in on your littles when they are sleeping i want you to notice are they clenching are they grinding are they making some kind of a noise then i want you to implement some of the strategies that i'm going to teach you guys today i'm really excited about this because a lot of people don't know about these strategies these counter pain strategies and these are preventative measures that everybody can be taking to improve their jaw health now before i get to this there is something that i'm going to be sharing with you near the end of the video it does have something to do with anti-aging so you'll want to make sure to stick around to the end let's take a look at some of these so the first thing that we are going to be looking at is posture, 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 posture. I cannot get this across enough. The whole forward head, the tilting, I've got some videos on that that I have already done and I will put them either up here, I will link them up here or I will put them at the very end of the video. So make sure to check out up top here and at the end of the video for those links. Posture plays a big part in our jaw health, especially if we have a forward head. If I'm showing you here, forward head, in your driving, when you're talking to people, on your phone, anything like that, even if you are at your computer and you're pressing your head forward, it is likely causing some issues with the jaw. So I want you to watch those videos, check those out, make sure that you're implementing that throat lock and those strategies that I talked about for the cervical rotation and the tilt. The next strategy you are going to be looking at is placing the tongue in between the teeth. It's really simple, it's not difficult. If you're grinding or you're clenching, simple as that, just place the tongue in between the teeth. It's going to prevent you from clenching, it's gonna prevent you from grinding, not when you're sleeping, I have something else for that, so stick around for that. But if you are, throughout your day, if you're finding that you are clenching or grinding, just stick your tongue between your teeth because it prevents you from clenching all the way down or grinding. The next strategy is self-occupressure and we're gonna be looking at stomach six. Okay, so right here, the points are bilateral. We're gonna be placing pressure in toward the back of the head and up toward the center line of the nose. And we're just holding. You can place your thumb underneath your jaw to make sure that you have good leverage. Then you can circle on the point. It 
if there's a knot or there's tension in this point, it helps to open up that congestion and stagnation, okay, to help the energy flow freely through that area, through that point, through that meridian. Now I'm not going to get into all the workings of the acupressure points and the meridians. I will save that for another video just to keep things nice and tight here. I wanna keep going with these counter pain strategies. So let's get to the next strategy. So I'm going to be showing you how to use a tennis ball on your stomach six point while you're lying down so that you can get a good night's sleep if you find that you're waking up in the middle of the night and you're getting some pain in the jaw. Let's do it. I would love to hear about your increased awareness of your jaw, of your posturing, if you're clenching or grinding, if you notice anything with your kids, and if you notice any improvement. One of the things that I did with my daughter when she was very, very little, because she was a grinder, is I taught her how to massage her cheeks and the stomach six point and she would just wake up in the middle of the night and she would start massaging while she was sleeping it was absolutely adorable eventually she stopped grinding it really does help with our kids it helps with us we will do it we will condition ourselves to do it while we're sleeping so definitely keep a tennis ball near your bed i will have more tips for you with a tennis ball. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click on that bell so you get notified when I'm uploading some of these good tips for you guys to help to decrease pain and to improve your posture and to enhance your overall wellness. So I was telling you in the beginning of the video that there is something having to do with anti-aging and this is the stomach pathway. Now, not only is it great for our digestion because we're dealing with the stomach, the partner to the stomach pathway is the spleen, so we're dealing with our immunity. But in addition to all of those, the stomach pathway begins here underneath the eyes. It comes down here. It comes up. And then it comes down on either side of the throat coming down through the chest. So we have a number of points that we can be stimulating for the eyes, for the sinuses, for the mouth, for the jowls, for the jaw here, down through the throat and the decollete. So the stomach pathway is fantastic for anti-aging benefits, for facial acupressure, which is something else that I will touch upon in the future. For today, we're just focusing on the one point, stomach six, get that one down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you found this to be useful for you, make sure to give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and your family. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell and follow me over on Instagram at The Posture Specialist. I look forward to our next video together. So until next time, happy posturing. If you would like to improve, if you want to improve your, so today I am talking to you about your jaw. The pathways that I'm going to be talking about 
There is, uh, so before we get to this, it has to do, there is, so before we get to this, I want to, um, before we get to this, I want to let you know I have something special at the end. Blah, blah. Before we get to this, I want to let you know that we have something. <laughs> mm-hmm. 